Indulge in a feast for all of your senses amid the resplendent surroundings of the Buffet at Wynn. Voted Best Buffet in Las Vegas by the Southern Nevada Hotel Concierge Association. Sample tastes from around the world at the 15 live-action cooking stations presenting rotisserie grilled steakhouse cuts and over 120 artfully presented dishes. Visit the Sweet Patisserie featuring warm pastries, chocolate fountain dip specialties, and an assortment of cakes and confections made daily by our dedicated pastry chefs. Most buffets in Las Vegas do not close down as they transition from lunch to dinner menus. I highly recommend you pay for lunch and stay for dinner. The Venetian, $1,100 MSPT event, $650,000 guaranteed. Two day ones, this is 1B. We have two bullets in the chamber. Let's hope we only have to use one. Bag and tag around 11 o'clock. Come back to day two and hopefully win six figures. I wasn't sure if it was you the and you take out the black. With blinds at 100, 300, I have right around starting stack, 20,000 chips in middle position with ace queen suited. So I've raised it up to 700 and I get four callers. A lot of action. Uh, table is pretty damn soft. Seems to be one. Uh, out of town rig, I'm guessing, and a bunch of elderly males, some rigs, and some locals. Flop comes Jack 7 7 Rainbow. Action checks around. Turn is an ace, the blinds check, and I check. Everyone else checks. River is a four. Small blind leads out 1600, and the big blind calls. I think the big blind would raise any of his 7x combos at this point. Small chance the small blind is didn't bet the turn with his seven. The good news is our kicker plays, so they might both have the two remaining aces. The first guy could have been bluffing and got called by an ace, possibly a jack. So we're going to put in the rare river overcall. Other two players fold. Original better says jack. The second guy shows ace deuce, and our queen plays. We have twenty six thousand on first break.
second break, a lot of small pots, nothing too interesting. Playing some solid pre-flop opening ranges. Not getting out of line. Tight is right. ABC Poker will pay off in the long run against these players. Stay focused. We have just under 30,000 going to 300, 600. I'm probably going to limit my play at the Venetian going forward due to two factors. One being the comfort level. These tables, although they're new, they're just not comfortable for a tall Caucasian male age 30 to 40 to sit at. It's all because of the base. There's not much room to put your feet underneath it. My legs have been going in and out of numbness. Not the optimal way to play poker. Number two is the affiliation with, as you all know, Sheldon Adelson, his hand in reintroducing the Wire Act and banning online poker back in 2011. Shout out to Black Friday, one of the worst days of my life. So there's plenty of fish in the sea, if you will. You can find me playing more cash games at the win, tournaments or online on America's Card Room. Sign up today using bonus code Bowski. Out of the gun, plus one as a 40k stack. He makes it 1500 to go. Next act calls. We're in the cutoff and we look down at pocket kings. One diamond, one club, and we make it 5500. Action folds the original razor who puts in the call and the flatter folds. We're heads up to a flop. No ace. The flop comes 10 9 7. Two clubs, one diamond. We got all the suits covered. Heat checks, and uh, normally you think you want to see about this flop, but in reality it's fine to check it behind because he has all the sevens, nines, and tens in his raised flatting range, even the occasional pocket aces. We check behind. The turn is a, a four of diamonds, a brick. And now he's going to lead. He leads for 6,000. He could have jacks, he could have queens. We've played our hand very deceptively with the check on the flop, so no reason to raise or fold, so we put in the call. The river is the seven of diamonds, another great card. Since we have the king of diamonds, it blocks a lot of his flush cards, like king queen of diamonds, king jack of diamonds, even ace king of diamonds. And the seven's good because that makes only one combo of pocket sevens, so it's unlikely as a boat. You can't really have a straight with jack eight, he asks to see my stack and he bets 8,000. I have about 15,000 in my stack. Pretty easy call here. Can't really raise for value against his jacks or queen type hands. We call and he shows queen jack of diamonds. Runner, runner gets no funner for him. Congratulations. He scoops the pot and says, I think I was ahead pre flop. Where do they get these people? And we now have 10 blinds going to 400, 800. That's the jambalaya lunch. I get a few shoves through at the 4, 800 level. Middle position shoves all in for 13,200. I'm in the cutoff with pocket tens and 10,900. Is that 16 blinds? No, 14 blinds, whatever. We got tens, we're facing a pretty loosey goosey, eating a sandwich type of jam. We're all in. Ex pro tennis player is in the big blind and he says, yeah, sure, why not? And throws in 11,000. Original shover has ace eight of diamonds. Big blind has ace queen. We're in a great spot. Let's hold. The flop comes. We got video. Tens, ace queen, and ace eight. Tens are looking right. good. I like the tens, but I like me. Just an ace on the flop. It's reasonable. Any, any ten. Any ten? Any ten will work. Give him the, all the aces. Queens. 
Yeah. Right. still gets chips. So what are you at? You got 55? Good look. And I am out of the 1100 MSPT at the Venetian. One bullet, 1100 gone.